Welcome guys, welcome to this video. So in this video, what I want to do, I want to add this filter in our application. So if user selects front end or back end, only then those two uh, coaches will appear with those technologies specializations. So currently we have it like this. So to add the filter, we need to create a component. So I go to the text editor and in components coaches, I'm going to create a brand new component I'm going to call it coach uh, filter dot view. Now here I need to stop template and inside it I want to add uh, uh, the coach uh, filter. So here I say small which is HTML tag and I'm going to say here filter it's going to be class now here I'm going to add some HTML straight away so that we won't waste our uh, much time on this one. So here I'm just going to add the div. Here uh, nothing special is happening. We are adding an input with the type of checkbox. We gave each input a separate name, front end, back end, and web design the way we are our application is. So we have the same way the ID to it, front end, back end, and web design and all these checkbox will be checked once we have it so now i want to make sure that when we click on these checkbox we do something so for that i'm going to do an event and for that we need to add the script tag so let's do that so i go here here i say uh, object now here i'm going to say methods and we need to create a method which is going to be check filter or filters so here I want an event so that whenever we click on these we want this particular element to select so for that we are going to use event and here I want to work with that so before doing anything in here let's call this so here I say on input at change and we need to call that function that we created check filters and that goes here and to get this particular input we pass dollar event all right this is how you're going to pause it now i'm going to copy this from here and I'm going to pass it here as well as here all right so now here we can check another component so we can see what event we are getting so simply i say console dot lock and event all right so we have it now we need to call it so to call it I go to here and we have front page view I click there and here we have coach item where we are showing all the coaches and here we can display the coach filter I'm gonna add it here on top so before adding it we need to call it so I say here import and it is going to be coach filter and then we say from now it says inside components so we need to go one directory out now we have component then we are coaches then we can go inside coaches filter dot view all right so we have it now as we are calling it we need to put it inside components as well so call my components now as we have it now we can call it here so here as a coach and filter like that now we need to close it as well coach filter okay so yeah it should be fine now so if i go to our application uh refresh we have it here the inspect and console so when i check we you can see that the event is happening on change because we called um, here on change and then we are console logging here so now if I want to check particular values so uh, like if this particular when I click whatever is happening here so we can do that so to do that what we need to do we say here event dot target dot checked all right so it's going to tell us if it is checked or not so let's go here 
refresh. So when I click here, it gets false. I click again, it gets true. So when it is checked, it's true. Otherwise false, so hit false, true. Okay, so we can use it. So here, what I want to do, I want to, instead of console logging, I want to make it, uh, I want to get the ID of it. So here I say, if, and I'm going to copy this, so I will put it here, is equal to true, that means it is checked, then what do we want to do, we want to put the ID in an array. So what I could do, I create a property here, I'm going to call it, let's say, checked empty array. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say here, this dot checked filter values dot push. So if it is true, we need to pass the ID. And to pass the ID, we simply can get to event.target.id. All right, so the ID of it, if you see here is front end, uh, back end, and the web design. So that is going to go inside there. So to, to see what is happening, I can, I'm just gonna cut this from here. And after our condition, I need to put this dot. Uh, now, if it is true, now if else, that means it is unchecked, it is false. What do we want to do in that case? In that case, what I wanna do, I wanna say this dot uh, check function in JavaScript splice. So we are going to use that. And we need to tell to remove a value from the place where that value is. So we need to pass the index of that value and how many values we want to remove. So you can see that start and delete count. So here, what I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this dot checked now uh, values dot index off this is going to get us the index of this id which is unchecked all right and we want to remove only one value this particular value so it's going to remove it okay so this is how it is going to work and we are going to see the output here now uh, if you remember, the, all the checkbox by default were uh, checked. So what I do in that case, I'm going to uh, go here and I'm going to pass uh, the default IDs straight away. So, so that we have default IDs. Okay, so let me show you. So we have ID frontend. So by default, we have these IDs there because these uh, checkbox are checked okay okay now save this I go to the browser refresh the page now when I click here we get back in a web design those are checked now when I click here we get web design only now when I click here we get back and web design both now I remove this and check this front end and web design so we are getting what exactly values we need whenever user clicks now we're getting the values so we need to uh, check one thing here that uh, our coaches are here right and the filter uh, the filter options are in separate component so filter is here and coaches are here so coaches are coming from here so we need to pass uh, this all well, these values to this component so that we can uh, change the output accordingly so to do that what we need to do we need to emit so what do I do here? I will say this dot, and to emit we say dollar emit, and here, uh, here we're going to say check dash filter. All right, and then I want to pass the values. So these dot check filter values, we can pass it here straight away. So we are going to be ascending this value, these values now. So when we emit, it's a good practice. We put emit on top as well. So emits, and here in array, I'm going to pause, check, dash filter. All right, should be fine now. All right, so we are emitting just fine. Now, as we are emitting here, we need to go into front page, and here, what we can do, we can set call at, so we emitted the change uh, check filter, so here we can use it so we can say add check filter 
equals and it is going to be a function by filter all right so this is going to be now what is going to be i'm going to create a method here for this so we don't have methods so we need to add methods here so i say methods and they're going to be this method and this method going to get the values the values we are passing here these are going to be available to this method so we can use them from by using the argument so here's i see here updated options all right and here we can use these updated options so currently we don't have the any property set here in the front page we can set a property just like this in there too and i want to pass these values by default because our checkboxes will be checked by the uh, initially so I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to go here and I'm going to define our value I will say here filtered and the array going to be this okay so now what we can do we can update this according to this update option so we can say here simply uh, this dot filtered update options okay now we can also we can do this we can simply say here console this now the console log i also have here i can remove it from there and here now we have it so whenever we need to emit it's going to work now we have an adder here okay we, i forgot to add the comma so when you put created here we need a comma all right so let's see refresh and you can see that we are getting the backend web design web design backend so this is this time we are getting this value in our front page component previously it was there now in front page now as we have these values here so we can modify the display coach list uh, which is what we need we need to modify it because currently it is showing all the coaches coming from this uh, now we need to modify it so to do that what we can do we can use a function again and it is going to be uh, dot filter so here we are going to pass coach and then we're going to say that each coach check this can these conditions for it so we're going to say if this dot filtered coaches so we have this array here and there are going to be a javascript function and again includes so we are saying if it includes so first i'm going to check front end all right and uh, second thing i want to say that coach dot skill so each coach is getting the skills so here we have the skills for each coach so we want to check if that has the value so here we're going to say coach dot skills dot includes all right and then we need to pass front end now when this happens we return true so we say here return true okay so when it returns true it displays data otherwise it won't so I'm going to copy this and paste here and paste here and we have backend so we are going to do the same thing here with the backend and the web design all right so we have this and by default uh, we say here return false okay so if I go here and refresh we have an error and then this getter is null so if i refresh let's keep on coming now when we go to add coach and then go to home we are getting this so this is happening being this error is happening because the data is not ready and the filter is firing so for example here we are saying that okay we are adding coaches then you filter each coach but when this fires we are not getting the coaches it is generating in like in a few seconds later so it is currently null 
and then it fires on null so it gives the error so we can put a condition here that if we have here the data then do this all right so we can use a ternary operator so to do that what we usually do so we can say here like i copy this so if in general you use a ternary operator like this you say if this is the value then do this else do something else right so you put here if this value is present then do this after question mark so this is going to be done if this is present otherwise comes with this do this all right so here what we will need to do here that in our condition we are returning it so i'm just going to copy this here then going to put a question mark so i'm saying that if this value is present then do this all now here i'm going to remove the semicolon and i'm going to say here otherwise return empty all right so i save this go here refresh the page you can see we have the data now error is gone now if we see here we have all the checkbox selected so i'm gonna uncheck all so if i click web design we have all the uh, coaches with web design so these are web design coaches if i say front end we will have front end if i remove from here web design so each coach will have front end that's a necessity now now if i remove this and back end the only back end will be here so our filter is perfectly working. We can remove this console log, which we added in the front page here. So I can remove that. All right. So yeah, this is how it works. Now also I want to add the uh, uh, header for some heading. So I'm just gonna add it. It's gonna take less time. So for that, I just go into the main app.view because I want to show it on each page and here uh just below the header i'm going to create a div now in this uh, div we can say div with the class of jumbo tron just to make it look, look a bit better so i'm going to say here h1 and then i'm going to pass a property title we don't have currently so we're going to do that okay so we don't have these properties so we i'm going to put these properties here i have uh, text for these now if i go here you can see that we have on top refresh we don't have any error we have all the coaches we have our filter working hope you like this video uh in the next video we will see what uh how we implement the animation because currently it still it goes away i want it to be fade away slowly using vue.js thank you for watching see you in the next video and I'll